Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this Darlington pair circuit and here we have been given that for both transistors, the current gain beta is equal to 29. Moreover, the base emitter voltage of both transistor is equal to 0 0.7 volt. So here, we have been asked to find the value of R1 such that the collector emitter voltage of the second transistor is equal to 5 volt. So first of all, here let us write down what has been given to us. So here this beta 1 is equal to beta 2 is equal to 29. Moreover, the base emitter voltage VB1 and VB2 is equal to 0 0.7 volt. And here the required value of this VCEQ is equal to 5 volt. That means here we need to select the value of R1 such that the collector emitter voltage of the second transistor is equal to 5 volt. Now if you look this circuit, then here this voltage Vc2 is equal to 12 volt. And as you are aware, this Vcq2 can be written as Vc2 minus V2. Therefore, this Ve2 is equal to Vc2 minus Vcq2 that is equal to 12 volt minus 5 volt that is equal to 7 volt that means to get the value of vcq2 is equal to 5 volt the required voltage at the emitter of the second transistor is equal to 7 volt and from this we can find the required current through this transistor q2 so we know that this emitter current ie2 or this current is equal to ve2 divided by re so in this case this V2 is equal to 7 volt. Therefore, this current IE2 is equal to 7 volt divided by 1.5 kilo ohm. That is equal to 4.366 milliampere. So, in this way, we found the value of the required emitter current through this transistor Q2. Now, here to find the value of R1, we should know the base current IB1 as well as the voltage at this node that is equal to VB1. So here we have been given that the base emitter voltage of this two transistor is equal to 0 0.7 volt. That means these two drops is equal to 0 0.7 volt. So if we just apply the KVL around this loop, then we can easily find the voltage VB1. Therefore, this voltage VB1 is equal to VB1 plus VB2 plus V2 that is equal to 0 0.7 volt plus 0 0.7 volt plus 7 volt that is equal to 8.4 volt. That means the voltage at this node or this VB1 is equal to 8.4 volt. Similarly, now let us find the base current IB1. So for the Darlington pair, if you are aware, then this emitter current IE2 can be given as beta 1 plus 1 times beta 2 plus 1 times IB1 where this IE2 is the current through the emitter of the second transistor while this IB1 is the base current of this first transistor and here since beta 1 is equal to beta 2 so we can write this expression as beta plus 1 whole square times IB1 so if you are not aware about this expression then you can check this video on the Darlington pair. So from this we can say that this current IB1 is equal to IE2 divided by beta plus 1 whole square that is equal to 4.366 milliampere divided by 30 whole square which is equal to 5.18 microampere. So in this way we also got the value of the base current IB1 and using this we can easily find the value of the R1. So here this current IB1 can also be given as this 12 volt minus VB1 divided by R1 where this VB1 is the voltage at this node. Therefore this resistor R1 is equal to 12 volt minus 8.4 volt divided by IB1. That means the value of R1 is equal to 3.6 volt divided by 5.18 microampere. 
विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नाइन्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम दैट मीन्स वेन एवर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नाइन्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम एट दैट टाइम दिस वोल्टेज वी सी क्यू टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव वोल्ट एंड देर फोर फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ द आर वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स नाइन्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री किलो ओम